Hey guys, this is Peter and today I'm going to show you how you can use a TV tuner to record programs for free and bring them into Kodi on any machine in your house. That coming up next. All right, so here we go. This, these are all programs that I recorded this evening. Look, I can just... Ah. Okay, everybody, and plie. <laughs> all right, so uh, look, I can bring in all sorts of things. The county fire says right now four homes have been destroyed. It looks beautiful. 11 others damaged. Now I have a TV tuner, and this makes it so it's not just live TV, but recorded TV. And sure, there are DVR Including applications out many there. many that are relied on strongly this by families with super children. Simple, Here are just up. some of the services unavailable and because of the strike. completely free. So how did I do it? Well, here's the trick. Windows Media Center was before Kodi, before XBMC, a lot of cord cutters used Windows Media Center. Windows Media Center runs on a PC and enables you to look at your pictures, great for pictures, music, movies, and TV. So there is a TV recorder. I'm going to put a link to this so you can download it. There is a trick. When you go to say, set up my TV tuner, it's going to say, I don't see a TV tuner, and you're going to get super frustrated and probably forget all about it. But let me show you a couple links that will help you out. Here, let's start with this. I'm going to give you this link. It's how to install Windows Media Center. And it will all install and work great on Windows 10. However, when you go to set up that TV tuner, it's going to say, what TV tuner? You're going to need this one. If you have a Silicon Dust TV tuner, you just go and uh, bring this down. This app will allow you to, uh, to watch things live. But this one, uh, Windows uh, software for Windows. If you, when you run this, download that in here. HD Home Run Setup. That's what in that folder. It's going to look much more like this. It's discovered my two TV tuners. I set them up for the United States. I set them up for Windows Media Center compatibility. Now I'll be able to see them. Go ahead and click this other tab and go ahead and pick one of your tuners that you've just discovered and scan your channels. Now, if you don't have a TV tuner, this DVR section you don't need to do. The advanced part you don't need to do. This will take care of everything. So if you don't have a TV tuner or an antenna, I have a whole section on there. If you click on this little globe, it'll bring you to my, my uh, website. And I have all of my movies about TV tuners put together here. It's under TV OTA. And here they all are, all the different reviews I did on different antennas, how I got things brought into Kodi, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, here, there's another page I wanted to show you from my YouTube. There's this A. These are all the all the app, or sorry, all of the products that I've liked from Amazon over the year. The TV tuners here, my antennas here. If you buy from this site, it helps me out. In fact, if you were to go to my main page and click on that banner, and you bought any anything. In fact, from here, you can buy anything. Uh, shoes. <laughs> anything you buy on Amazon after being directed here, it helps out my channel a little bit. So thanks so much. Um, give this a thumbs up if you want to see other videos like this because I know how to set this thing up all day long. Let me show you what mine's like. So I can bring in programs. It'll scrape them, and I can watch content Oh. One of the guys on the Jeep said, drop the gun, drop Just the gun, like drop this. the gun. And the other but if I click here, it'll bring me in and show me all the different recordings that I've made, which ones I've watched and which ones I haven't. And if you click down here in the sub menu, it'll actually launch my live TV tuner from within Cody. Organizers plus candles. It's a neat way hate. to do it. And uh, it's really a neat application. I recommend it highly. I recommend a TV tuner if you live in the right area. Go ahead to find out. Go and look at this one. Where is that one? OTA. Click on one of these. It'll show you TV tuner. I show you how to go to the FCC.org site or FCC.gov. Here, you can just go to this. ATSC coverage map. This will bring you to an FCC.gov site. And all you have to do is enter in your zip code. Here's my rule of thumb. If you get 
at least five, but if you definitely, if you get 10 green, you owe it to yourself to get it. Oh, and I got a lot of green. It looks like I'm only getting, what, 15 channels? I haven't bothered to count them. I get over 100. So each one of these five has five, one, five, two, five, three, 36, one, and two. And so you just get a ton of channels. And uh, seven, one, two, uh, nine has PBS kids all the time. It has PBS. It has multiple layers. So when you pick these up, that's what you get. What you want to pay attention to is what color it is, obviously. But you also want to be able to look at uh, what band it's in. UHF is ultra high frequency, which means it's a pretty easy signal to pick up. It bounces off of everything. It's ultra high frequency. Uh, so if that's in green, it's easy to pick up. You can do so with a small antenna. Here's going to be your problem ones. The ones that are high V, that's VHF. That is trickier. It can take a different type of antenna. Uh, here's the antenna that I reviewed. Here, it's right there. Whoa, not shoes. This one, this is a rather expensive antenna. However, I live 60 miles from my towers. How far do you live? Check this out. Pick any channel that you definitely want to get, like channel two for me. And look, it just drew a vector on that map. And you can actually, wow, that comes all the way from San Francisco. That's a long haul. And you can actually click on other ones and figure out what other vectors do they come from. I know that one's from a different one. There we go. Yeah, my Spanish stuff's from over there. But sometimes that's nice for soccer. And if you have things that come from multiple different directions, you may also want to take a look at an antenna like this because this one is omnidirectional. After looking at antennas for the past nine years, I've been a cord cutter, this is my favorite. This is uh, even has filters for all the 4G signals that are in my area. With a million people living in San Jose and my signal being so far away, this thing does an amazing job. But I do, of course, have a video on that. That's right here and right here. And here's a less expensive antenna that I reviewed here. It all depends on where you live. Check this out. If we lived in a different place like Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas people are uh, blessed because their channels, and they have a lot of them, are so close to where they live, it's ridiculous. Cedar Hill, that's 20 miles away. So, uh, and all of them are basically the same direction, if I remember properly. Yeah. I mean, you could basically buy a really inexpensive antenna. Just go to, I really liked Antop. I thought they did a good job. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. Uh, but uh, here, if you just went Antop antenna. Now, they have a whole slew of different antenna solutions, and they do seem like they're a very good company. They make a very good product. And look, we're starting at 29 bucks. So, and everything in between. There you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is definitely worth doing because uh, not only can you watch, sometimes you want to watch TV, and sometimes you want to watch not live TV, something that had been pre recorded. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, pretty cool stuff, guys. Including, including many that are relied on strongly by families with children. Here are just some of the services. Have a good one, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, uh, something's funny is going on with YouTube. You may not always see your your favorites being uh, popping up all the time. So even if you've subscribed, go and hit that little bell button. I promise not to waste your time. <laughs> we'll always come out with good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.